Who's ready for episode? Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz, and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap the subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl. And turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, if y'all did not know, my music is now available on Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, um, SoundCloud, the other music places, YouTube, you know. And you can watch my most recent music video, How I Like It. You just type it in, How I Like It by Ali Fizz, right there. Watch it. Help a young artist out. But now that that self-promo is out of the way, let's get into some episode today. Because I'm like, I'm feeling like posting this week. So if you see more videos of me, then just know you got lucky this week. <laughs> and also do your part, you know, click that like button. It take two seconds. That's all you gotta do. You got the easy part. Chapter eight. Zero's flirting skills. Uh oh, are they good? Vienna, let's pretend we're together. Are, are you serious? What about all that stuff you said about how you can't act like you're in love with me? Or I thought you didn't want to pretend to be something you're not. I thought you didn't want to pretend to be something you're not. Yeah, well, being 100% honest doesn't seem to be helping me right now. If Alpha Z won't choose me because I'm not famous enough, doing this might help. Maybe another big team will be interested in me if I can get more subs. That makes sense. So we're really doing this. I'm game if you are. All right, let's do it. We should probably talk about how this is gonna work. There's a coffee shop nearby that I like. We can go there and discuss the details of this thing. Sure, I could use a caffeine boost. I'm so not a morning person. Me either, so at least that works for us. Oh, minutes later. So I think we should establish some rules. Is this the part where you tell me I can't fall in love with you? Because you don't need to worry about that. This isn't a romance movie. I'm not gonna say that. What I mean is we need to be on the same page about this. First, we gotta be at least civil with each other. We won't be able to pull this off if we look like we're five minutes away from a fight. I guess we can find a way to be a little nicer to each other. We'll need to come up with a story about how we got together. We can say you joined the charity stream because you had a crush on me, but didn't know how to talk to me or something. That's bullshit. If I had a crush on you, I'd just talk to you, not spend $5,000 for a date. And yet you spent it just to piss me off and entertain yourself. And making you that angry was worth every cent. Oh, shut up. So we'll say you had a crush on me and we hit it off at dinner. We realized we had a lot in common, blah, blah, blah. I guess that works. We also shouldn't be caught with anyone else in public. The last thing we need is a cheating scandal. Are you trying to get me all to yourself, Foxy? He's so annoying. Sure, I'm super jealous of the idea of you with anyone but me. Or dream on zero. Or I couldn't care less about who you hook up with as long as it doesn't hurt my image. Ooh. Sure, I'm super jealous of the idea. Sure, I'm super jealous of the idea of you with anyone else but me. It just breaks my little heart to see that. Careful, sarcasm is the way to my heart. Then I'll make sure to just be direct with you. We'll see how long that lasts. Anyway, we just gotta be careful not to mess this up. We need people to believe we're crazy about each other. We'll definitely drive each other crazy if we have to be around one another all the time for three months. Although, making you mad is pretty fun, so at least I won't get bored. I'm ignoring that. We can't tell anyone we're doing this though. It has to be believable for everyone. I don't want people finding out that it's a lie and ruining my shot at becoming a pro player. Well, I gotta at least tell my manager and absolutely not. You might be fine with putting on a show for them, but I'm not having anyone tell me what to do. But you're letting me tell you what to do, or can you stop making this harder than it has to be? But you're letting me tell you what to do. That's different. How? It, that, well, it just is. Nice comeback there, Zero. Look, Delphine could help us. She could come up with the perfect strategy to announce we're together. I don't care, I'm not gonna be someone's puppet. If we tell her, she's gonna wanna control everything. If we pretend it's real, we can say we wanna take things at our own speed. Fine, we won't tell her even though it would help. But I'm at least telling my best friend. I can't keep this a secret from Key and I'll need someone to rant about you or I'll end up in jail for murder. I guess telling Parker about this would make it easier. Okay, we'll tell our best friends, but no one else. Agreed. So what now? Do we just make a post on eSocial saying we're together? Of course not. 
We need people to be curious about us, wondering if there really is something. We need to get them talking, then we announce. This way we'll get even more engagement on social media. Why can't we just post what's up, we're dating on eSocial and be done with it? Look, you might be better than me at TC, but social media is my game. Uh-oh, I know what I'm talking about. During the week, we'll comment on each other's posts and pop by our streams. Then people will be wondering if we're friends or something more. All right, you may have a point there. We could do a stream together during the week and confirm there then. I like the stream idea, but we should announce it in a bigger way. I'll think of something later. Well, I guess that's everything we need to talk about. Wait, one more thing. Since you're gonna be, you know, my fake boyfriend, shouldn't I know your real name? Why? Are you serious? How can I pretend to be your girlfriend if I don't even know your name? It's not like the fans know it either, so it won't be a problem. What's the big deal about telling me? Is it something embarrassing? Or are you hiding a dark secret like your family is part of the mafia? Yeah, I'm in the mafia. You should stay away from me. I'm so, so dangerous. I just don't think you need to know my name. Why though? Is it like Cornelius or something? This will only last three months, then we'll go our separate ways. There's no point telling you. You can call me Z for short or something. I really don't get why you won't tell me a stupid name. It's just a name. But I guess it's not worth arguing over that. You're very frustrating, you know? Yep. I'll text you later to figure out the whole social media interacting thing. Sounds good, girlfriend. Ew. <laughs> You're doing what? I know, it's kind of crazy, but it's a great way to raise our profiles. I mean, I guess it is. But are you sure you two can do this without killing each other? It won't be easy, but we're committed. Zero might be annoying, but he cares about his career. I'm sure we can do this. Well, the fans do like you two together. And your idea to interact on social media before announcing it is genius. I'll help you come up with the ideas to get fans hyped. Thank you. I just really hope this works. It will. I think we can do it. During the week, Zero and I have been interacting on social media, commenting on each other's e-social and e-gram posts and interacting, trying to get the fans wondering what's going on between us. Anything that would make them excited and ready for when the big reveal comes. We also made a few donations during our streams with a little flirty remarks. I won't say it wasn't weird, but we got pretty good at it. They were just empty words after all. Right, that's what you think. Y'all having too much fun for me. And I found out Zero has a different way of flirting. What? Oh, a few days later, we look cute. I should go over the post Zero and I commented this week and see how it's all going. Oh, tap the arrow to see the next post. Okay, what I say? Hope everyone is having a great day. Love you, wink, wink. And Zero said, call an ambulance. And yes, it's for me. <laughs> I'm screaming, I love it. And then Zero said, bored out of my freaking mind and the Wi-Fi isn't working. So I can't play anything on stream. I hate it here. And we said, I can help with that. <laughs> okay, we are good at it. And then I posted another picture and said, half dead after this morning workout, but please pretend I look cute. And then Zero said, oh no, I hope I don't fall. I'm screaming. <laughs> and Zero said, you ever wake up, look at yourself in the mirror and think, hey, there you are consequences of my actions because pulling a bunch of all nighters is ruining me, LOL. And then I said, dark circles are hot though, just saying. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then I got me on a bikini and I said, Throw back to last year's beach vacay. Anyone want to take me to a two week tropical vacation, please? Needing it. And then Zero said, Zero has stopped working. Oh my gosh. He is seriously silly. And then Zero said, so my sleep deprived self just put ramen noodles in the microwave without water. And now the whole apartment smells burnt and I'm still hungry. My IQ is zero too. <laughs> I said, you're such a mess that it's actually kind of cute. I cringe so hard running those comments, but the fans seem to like them. At least my suffering is worth something, I guess. I should text Zero about our progress and make sure we're still on for tomorrow. I can't believe you've been flirting in my comments with memes. Hey, they're my way of showing affection. It was kind of funny, wasn't it? Sure, I guess. You guess? We can't be together if you don't get my sense of humor, Vienna. All right, your memes are funny, happy, or what sense of humor? Or that really isn't the point here. What sense of humor? <laughs> oh, come on, I'm hilarious. You tell yourself that. Anyway, this is working out better than I thought. People already have theories about us. I saw it. I'm a little weirded out by how much people care about our love lives, but I guess that was the whole point. Also, you calling me hot was pretty interesting. 
I'm doing it for the fans. Don't get any ideas. So you don't think I'm hot? I'm not answering that. Then I'll take that as a yes. You're an idiot. I'll announce that we're doing the stream together during an Egram Live I'm doing in a bit. Be here at 8 p.m. tomorrow. Oh, and don't be late. So bossy, I'll be there. Okay, I just hope this isn't a total failure. Time to go do my Egram Live. I hope we are looking good. Oh, we look the same, good. And before I go, I have an announcement. I'll be doing a stream with Zero tomorrow night. We'll play some games, chat with you, and just have fun. So stop by tomorrow and hang out with us. See ya. I hope it worked out. It's official now. I'm really doing this. No turning back. What now? What happened? Tell me why the hell you're doing a stream with Zero and without telling me. Well, the thing is, we're kind of dating. Ew, ew, ew. You're dating Zero? I thought you hated him. Yeah, but things changed. You said we had chemistry and well, you were right. We've been hanging out since we had that date. Oh God. What? I thought you liked us together. And the fans really like us too. Sure, I liked it when you got buzzed because of him, but dating him? Zero's a wild card. He says whatever he wants, does whatever he wants. You have an image to maintain and dating someone like him, it's just not the brand we created for you. She's right about Zero. He always says what he thinks no matter the consequences. But maybe that's not such a terrible thing. Well, I'm sorry, but you can't control who I date. You're not backing down from this, are you? No, I'm not. This is the first time I'm talking back to Delphine and not just accepting her suggestions. It's a bit scary and I have no idea if the zero thing will work, but it also feels good to stand up for myself. As you should, queen, you are the talent. Fine, date zero then. But let me come up with a strategy. Delphine, I really appreciate it, but we want to do things in our own time. Zero doesn't want someone telling us what to do, and I agree with him. We'll handle this on our own. You two are going to be the death of me. <laughs> okay, let's see what to wear for the stream with Zero. We can wear, wait, little tip, one of them will give you two bonus points with him. Let me see what his vibe is. So we got this, that's cute. We got this, that's cute too, but it's too much pink for Zero, I think. Black and white, that might be zero. This might be zero's vibe, cause it's got black on it. But this might be zero's vibe too. I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with this, cause it's got black on it. Yup, and we look cute. Mm. Now for the hair and makeup. Okay, let me do my hair really quick in my streamer hairstyle. Boom, I look good and I added some pink. So, this is your apartment. Of course it's pink. It's more like purple. And what do you have against that? Nothing, it's just very you. I like your dress or whatever that is, by the way. Ah, I picked the right outfit, I knew it. Stop, you're gonna make me fall in love with you with such sweet compliments. I thought we should match a bit and since you're always wearing black, good thinking. Should I wear pink someday then? Oh, I paid good money to see that. Come on, let's go to my room and do this already. That's how you asked me to go to your room with you? Where's the romance, the sweet talking? I'm not that easy, Foxy. I'll literally punch you in the face. What do you say we go and I show you my bed, Z? Or can you just stop being you for a minute? What do you say we go and I show you my bed, Z? We can turn this fake relationship into a real one. What? I, I, hmm. We had him shook. You're messing with me, aren't you? Of course I am. Do you think I'd really suggest that? Now quit with the sarcasm and let's go. Just get in there. Here we go. Okay, I'll take it back. This is much more you. I needed a pretty scenario for the streams, didn't I? Speaking of which, how are we doing this? Are we gonna pretend we're friends, go for a more flirty thing or what? I say we try to be natural. Obviously not fighting as much as usual, but people like our banter. It's gonna look fake if we're too nice to each other. You're right about that. What are we gonna do when people ask if we're together? Because you know they will. We say we're just friends, but why would we lie? I mean, we're not really together, but they should think we are. The thing is, the more we deny it, the more they'll be curious. We'll say we're friends, but kind of like we're nervous about the question. Whoa, you really did think of everything, Virgo. I know, I'm awesome. Let's start the stream. Nervous? Yeah. I mean, what if we don't pull it off? Or people don't believe us? Look, all we gotta do is pretend it's just us playing like the other day. Forget there's people watching and try not to tell me to go F myself. 
I'll do my best, but I make no promises. All right, turn the stream on. Okay, let's start. Here we go. What's up, everyone? It's your girl, Sly Fox, and tonight I'm here with the one and only Player Zero. Hey, guys. We're gonna be playing some games together and maybe settle once and for all who's the better player, which is obviously me. But you do give me a run for my money, Foxy. That nickname, seriously? It's one thing to call me that to piss me off in private, but in front of people? I can already see comments about that. Although, maybe it's a good thing. Oh, a donation. What's it say? Uh-oh, are you two dating? Thank you for the 25 foxes. They're asking if Zero and I are dating. I should be confident or be shy? Shy. Hmm, Zero and I, well, we, we're just friends, guys. I know you've been curious, but yeah. Sorry to disappoint, but that's all we are. Ooh. Thanks for the 15 foxes. How did we become friends? Well, we kind of hit it off after the charity date. Turns out we're not as different as we thought. I did say meeting her in person would be fun. Yeah, definitely fun. Ooh. Now we should start playing. What are we playing? CC? Probably. And so we did. We played games for around two hours while chatting. What we talk about. Sometimes we fight a bit, but the fans seem to enjoy even that. As worried as I was, I managed to actually forget we were streaming and just have fun with the games. Zero beat me a few times and I kicked his ass a few more. We put on the perfect fake friendship show. Like it or not, we have to be a team now, which is working better than I thought it would. Period. And he kinda cute. And if the fans were curious about us before, they'll definitely be after this. Woo, that was fun. I can't believe we tied though. I guess we'll have to do another stream to figure out who the better player is. I'm gonna bring my A game next time. But for now, we really do have to go. Thank you all for hanging out with us and for all your donations. See you next time. VNN Zero out. Aw, and the wink, boop. I can't wink. Anyway, we actually did it. I think my jaw might be permanently messed up from pretending to smile and laugh so much, but yeah. That wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. And clearly people ship us. I really don't get why, but it's good for us, so who cares? I kinda see why, or yeah, you and I would never work. I kinda see why, you know the banter and stuff. I kinda see why. You do? Not like that. I just mean, I get the appeal. All the banter and us being in competition, I guess it makes for a good love story. Hmm. Maybe you're right. All of this fake smiling got me hungry though. Time to head home and stuff my face with whatever food's left in the fridge. Which I'm guessing is some maybe expired microwave burger since I didn't go grocery shopping last week. I have some leftover pizza here if you want. Why are you being nice and offering me food? Are you gonna poison it? No, you idiots. But if you don't want any, I'll just- No, of course I want pizza. I'll never say no to pizza, even if you're being weirdly out of character by offering. If I die, at least I'll have died for a worthy cause. <laughs> Later. Oh. He loved the pizza. Oh, pizza, you are my one true love. You're such a weirdo. Aw, don't be jealous. I have a place for both a girlfriend and pizza in my life. You can just have the pizza, thanks. So, why are you being nice to me? It's just a slice of pizza, calm down. And I don't know, I guess tonight wasn't a disaster, so I'm in a good mood. If putting you in a good mood gets me free food, maybe I should just do it more often. Would you really give up pissing me off for food? Cause I'll gladly feed you if you'll stop annoying me. <laughs> he thought about it. Nah, messing with you is still more fun, obviously. Did you figure out what we should do to announce we're together? Not yet, but I know I'll come up with something soon. It just has to be big, you know? I want everyone talking about us. Clearly you're good at this, so I'm sure you'll think of something. Anyway, thanks for the free pizza. I should get going now. Yeah, I need some sleep too. I promise I won't wake you up at 3 a.m. this time. You better not, or I wouldn't mind if you did. You better not. My beauty sleep is precious. I'll be sure not to disturb it again. See ya, Foxy. What's with that nickname anyway? You even called me that during the stream. I don't know, I just like it. No one else calls you that because it's weird. I like to think of it as a special way of pissing you off. So you're not stopping. Do you want me to? If it bothers you that much, I will. Since we're supposed to be nicer to each other now and all that. No, it's, it's fine, I guess. It's probably good to have nicknames for each other if we'll pretend we're a couple anyway. Then you'll come up with a nickname for me too? Something equally as annoying, definitely. 
Bring it on. We'll talk later. Bye, Zero. I can call him ZZ. ZZ! <laughs> the next morning. All right, what's up? All right, let's check social media and see what other people are saying about our comments this week and last night's street. Loading posts with keyword Sly Fox. After getting caught leaving Jay Jordan's party together, Sly Fox and Player Zero have been exchanging some pretty interesting comments on social media. Did our favorite rivals make up? Or is it more like kiss and make up? I'm dying to know. <laughs> okay, but I'm not the only one who thinks Sly Fox and Player Zero have been low key flirting all week, right? If Sly Fox and Zero aren't together, I'll never believe in love again because they were made for each other. So much chemistry, y'all. Zero and Sly Fox give me stop being so mean to me or I swear to God I'm gonna fall in love with you vibes and I'm here for it. Zero's been simping for Sly Fox even before these comments and y'all just hadn't noticed. He even paid 5K for a date with her. Boy is wit. Uh-uh, Kyle. It's actually working. People really think something's going on between Zero and me. Hmm, I got a new text. Let me see. <gasps> Maya. Vienna, what's up, girl? Oh my God, Maya Mariah just texted me. Who is that? She's one of the biggest beauty influencers right now. We exchanged some DMs before and she mentioned she wanted to meet me someday to collab. Maybe she'll ask me to do a video together or something. Maya, hey. So I know we haven't talked in a while. Things are chaotic right now since I'm working on my own makeup line. But anyway, I'm texting you because I'm throwing a party tomorrow night and I'd love for you to come. I know it's last minute and you don't live in LA, but I was hoping you could come so we can finally meet. Oh my God, are you serious? Of course, I'd love for us to meet in person. I'll send you the invite with all the details later. But can you come? Duh, of course I'm coming. Great. See you tomorrow then. See you. I'm going to Maya Mariah's house. Finally, the universe is working in my favor. And this just gave me an amazing idea. What, we're gonna stream at the party? You know, if we keep talking all the time like this, I'll start to think you actually like me. Dream on. I'm calling because I figured out what we should do to reveal we're a couple. And you had to call me at 10 in the morning to tell me this? Talk slow, I just woke up. Were you still sleeping at 10 a.m.? Yeah. Jeez. So as I was saying, I have an idea. We're going to an exclusive Los Angeles influencer party. You literally just described my worst nightmare. Why do we have to go to LA? I'm sure you can find some obnoxious influencer party right here in New York. Maybe, but this is Maya Mariah's party. She's like one of the biggest influencers right now. A party at her house will have a huge social media coverage. And we're supposed to just walk in there holding hands or something and just hope people care about us? I was thinking something bigger, a real statement. Like what? A kiss. A what? A kiss? Wonder how that's gonna go. This chapter has one bonus scene where Zero tells Parker about the whole fake relationship thing. Uh-oh, I gotta know about this. Make sure you give this video a like because I just spent my coins. Also, feel free to donate so, so we can take turns spending coins. You're doing what? I'm pretending to be Vienna's boyfriend. It's not that hard to understand. Excuse me, yes it is. I thought you two hated each other. That's a strong word. We just didn't get along very well. But this is good for both of us, so it makes sense. And you're fine pretending to be in love with her for months? She might not be the kind of girl I date in real life, but it just doesn't matter. We just need to make it convincing for the public. Besides, Vienna's actually kind of fun. Especially when she's angry, which she'll probably be often if we do this. A lot of what I do seems to get on her nerves. I wonder why. But aren't you worried you might catch real feelings for her? For a little Miss Perfect? No, I'm not worried. We're complete opposites. And unlike what people say, those don't attract. I wouldn't be so sure about that. You're gonna spend a lot of time together. You never know what could happen. I told you nothing's gonna happen. Maybe it'd be a good thing. It's been a while since you got out there. Ever since she who shall not be, let's not bring her up, okay? I'm fine being single. It's not like I have much time for a relationship anyway. Just leave it, Parker. I'm sorry, I just want what's best for you. Seeing you close yourself off after what happened. I know you mean well and all, but I don't like talking about that. I gotta go think of things to comment on Vienna's egram now, so excuse me. <laughs> Wait, what? She said we should comment on each other's posts to get the fans wondering if something's going on. Pretty smart move if you ask me, but now I gotta figure out what's right. How mad do you think she'd be if I just commented memes? He low key is irritating, but he lucky he cute. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video and one more episode this week, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with at least one friend. Like, 
we gotta get the channel back bumping. I haven't posted consistently in a while, so my channel is being hidden. So we gotta change it. And also buy, stream, and download my music because it does indeed slap. So have a great day in the name of the Lord and may God bless your every step.